Hello me work is fam! Welcome to my channel, my name is Mia and this is me work is. I'm a self-study IX designer and I'm here to make your life hella easier. we're gonna go over some of the most interactive websites that I have seen in my life that I have used and I'm living for them and I'm adoring them we're gonna go over them we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of this website how we could get ideas from them and how we could replicate something like that for our own designs and then on the next episode we're gonna design or I'm gonna reveal one of the most interactive designs that I've done recently this project is amazing I'm looking forward to the launch so I could show you guys and like blow your minds with the work with it Ugh. so let's go there let's look at some websites let's use some websites and just let's get on with it okay this first website that i'm gonna show you is prometheus i hope i'm pronouncing it right but the thing about this website is that it actually captures all of the different angles of the camera while you're scrolling your mouse and i think that's pretty awesome and when you click on and like go down uh, you're going through this storyline with them and like it gives you all the different angles of this beautiful animation and keeps you on a journey of explaining their mission and how it actually works and then it actually kind of takes you to well let's say the factory of like building this kind of fuels like it has amazing interactive visuals it has all these amazing treaties and i really like it and as you can see like it the story leads to the car using that fuel like i i, I really think this is really awesome and like uh the way they captured the story is really important and beautiful the next website is actually the museum, Annoying Museum on Zandex. And well, while this website actually deserves to be viewed on its own because well the whole thing is really cool but yeah it has all this beautiful different in, in, mini interactions before you viewing the actual artworks and then you can just scroll around and kind of walk into the museum and just see how everything works out it has amazing animation the 3ds are really high quality and the story is nice go ahead and read around it and i think it's pretty awesome the other one is uh my journey my developer journey so in this uh, website you can actually go well they have this awesome music uh, but you can actually go around with uh, this developer to the journey they had it writes around what they did that you will answer they had for all of the problems and it's really cool the f funny thing about it is it's still interactive it gives you the skills it gives you the role they played everywhere and i think this this whole thing is really brilliant and i like really love this website as if it was my portfolio i would blow my mind <laughs> the next website is a portfolio and i think you all are very familiar with this type of animation with hover mouse hover but the thing i wanted to show you guys here is that how beautiful a harmony of color and shapes can work together on creating your really really beautiful website and then obviously uh just having that affect intro uh, micro interactions all over your design and keeping it that playfulness and pretty well, awesome the next website is a true play that ai which is not that interactive but still uh the experience the good 3d design the minimalism and all that is still beautiful it still tells a story i think this is really important when we're building our websites now in this era uh, telling a story and like keeping it really intimate with the people who are checking it out the next website is cat genius and i think i should play this like i should play these games on a different video but just check it out i'm not gonna play it here but it's again super interactive it kind of gives you an idea how you can insert micro interactions into your designs so these types of website that have like long uh, loadings i love them because whenever you actually enter the website you're not gonna be stuck in like uh, bad quality images glitchy videos and stuff like that 
So this website is really cool because you can actually go ahead and check out different places. Again, it has all these beautiful micro interactions. When you click on like hover on these locations, you can actually zoom out. You can do all kinds of things and check out all these different places. And yeah, it's, it's really cool. You see, now I'm in a lunar in this like you can discover more about it it's an observatory it's just really cool and i love this website the next website is admire amaze and in this website again we have a cool loading which i appreciate in products that are heavy and then you can just scroll down to start your journey again beautiful storytelling beautiful micro interaction with telling me to turn on the sound and yeah you're just gonna in uh, scroll and just see the different things you can actually interact with the design like like if you want to have this and it has a little roadmap here and again i think it's really thoughtful and beautiful how they well created all these beautiful illustrations for just this website and you can actually just exit and see the web shop as well which i think is really essential in websites like this to have a more toned down and easy to use uh, platform. The next website is SBS, uh, which I think it's some kind of banking website. If it is, it's really cool. So in this website, you can actually go around the city. It's just awesome. Just check out different buildings. And for example, if you want to see well innovations, it's going to take you to the district innovation with the innovation buildings and then you just click on the one building and it's going to open a drawer and gives you like everything which i think is like brilliant i love this with the spatial design like taking off i think it would be pretty cool if we could take it to the next step and like merge it with the 3d and merge it with ar experience and just make it way more cooler than it is right now the other website which is really annoying for me is wake up and like you have to wake this little uh creature on and like it has the about it says i'm too tired to show you service and stuff like that go around and just make everything hard for this person <laughs> but i think it's just really smart how they did this here and how they make you play and just interact with their website so much so what i want to tell you guys about all these different websites that i see they have all these micro interactions and they have a really powerful story to tell so right now as we're in the era of like simple anime simple animation simple uh, landing pages and stuff like that i think it's important that we could actually take it a notch higher if you want to sell our product better or anything like that hook people to a story and on the design side i would want you guys to actually take a step back create the concept think about the story then start designing the 3d or the website or the illustrations and after you have the final product start going around it and create these small interactions and that's the key to creating these beautiful experiences and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know which one was your favorite one let me know if you're gonna use any of them to get ideas and to design a new website leave a comment Give me a thumbs up for this video. I tried so hard making this. Subscribe, obviously. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Make sure you watch my Figma tutorial episodes. Ugh, mwah. Easiest way to learn Figma. Crash course, fast track, everything's there. Just go watch it and like thank me later, it's okay. So, yup, bye.